we are back with the rendering portion of the car. So the first thing I want to say is we can add decals. You can do this in the uh, design workspace or the render workspace. So right now we're in the render workspace. Just navigate to the top left. From here, you're going to click render. Click on the decals icon and we're going to select a picture from our files. So I just searched up the Jaguar logo from Google Images. I found one that has a transparent background, so I try to find one of those. And select the spot that you want to put the logo in. So I'll select the front, and I'll look from the top, and it's upside down, so I could just rotate it around. I'll look from the front, see if I could more or less get it in the middle. And then I kind of want to put it down. More or less are what I'm looking for. So I got the logo in the front now. I'll save. Next thing I want to do is go to scene setup. And here you'll see uh, scene settings, uh, the properties, and you can have your solid color. This would be all solid, or the environment. Uh, if you have it in environment, it will try to do the lights based on what library you'll use. So if I use environment and click on double click on fields, it will show fields. If I do cool light, it'll show cool light. But for now, I just want to keep it at solids. Uh, grounds uh, relates to different things. So uh, let me give you an example of environment real quick. So right now it's in the air. If I do flat ground, it'll look like it's on the ground is actually pretty cool and then you can do reflection and I'll show a reflection on the ground but yeah we want the cart vanilla as possible or the render you can do whatever you want but I'm gonna keep it uh, with a cool light or whatever light I think is best for the car so I'm gonna just navigate through the environment and see what I like the best and I like rim light. I'm going to stick with that. And then the next thing, you, there's a camera section. You want to keep perspective. You want to keep the focal at default, exposure at default, depth of field, everything default here. Uh, you can change the color of your background. So uh, this is the default color. I can change it to red, apply, and it'll be red. But I like to keep that at normal colors. You could also reverse the default settings, so I press back and it'll go back. And I press close and that's what I get. So let me change that real quick. I wanted rim lights. Alrighty. Next thing is we don't have to deal with texture map control. Basically means if you have uh, texture on your car and there's a seam right here and you want it to go away and your image is big enough or scaled like properly you can actually just drag the texture to the side to the point where uh, you won't see the seam anymore so or you can use different like techniques for it so uh, you won't have to deal with that most of the time when you're doing dealing with CAD software when you get more into like customizing your textures uh, your it's a whole new different field of knowledge that you need to gain but typically you don't have to deal with it so you can ignore it you have in canvas render so this is just like a quick iteration of renders it just gives you a good feel of what you're gonna feel or see uh, when officially rendering it and downloading it and as you can see, it looks pretty smooth. 
this is what you're typically looking for and you can move it around freely it'll just try to re-render it and you're good to go you can stop it you can do in canvas rendering usually you can do fast or advanced uh, I don't really mess with any of the settings and then you can capture image uh, from your view here so if I do click on capture image it'll literally take a screenshot of whatever you're seeing right here I press OK and I can save it to wherever I want so save this is my screenshot right here it saved it for the transparent background with uh, all the same qualities you see here which isn't bad but for the best results you want to do a full render so to do that you have to click on the render icon so click on it and you can either do cloud or local I do local because it gives me the option of doing transparent background uh, with just the same result as this nothing in the background just the car itself and I like to just turn on advanced and go up to a hundred percent and then I start rendering and you can see the computer will start the process of rendering and you'll start seeing the thumbnails on the bottom as you render your car and you don't have to stay in one space so once it captures like the good uh, screenshot where your screen is going to be to render the car you could start experimenting uh, everywhere else alrighty I'm back with the render and right here is our finished image it won't have a loading click on it and it'll bring up our image and I can download the image or render it as a turnable so if I click this it will rotate the car around let me download it real quick as a PNG and then let me show you the results so here are the results of the car render looks pretty smooth to me and let me click on turnables just to give you a estimate of what it could be right now cloud services for rendering is not allowed for me right now because uh, they're having fusion is having problems so I will not go over that but just letting you know if you do that it'll just do 6 or 36 frames uh, car being animated in a whole circle I guess you could say that concludes the render